In this particular video, I'll help you build an end-to-end -end project with a backend which will help you boost your portfolio. Without any further ado, let's get started. My name is Kushal Vijay. I work for Microsoft as a software engineer. And since you guys are bored with wipe coding apps, today we'll be building backend in minutes, including auth, database and whatnot. But make sure to follow the complete tutorial so that you don't miss anything in between. Now, let's get started. So I am at my home right now. That's why a different view without any further ado. Let's get started. First of all, you need to go to back for app back for app is the platform which will we will be using to build our backend. Once you land on to back for app, let me talk a bit about it. Like what functionalities it can provide. It can provide your authentication, AI agents, backend, everything, anything and everything around backend databases, rest APIs functions web development uh, toolkit you can deploy web develop deployment so we will be also deploying our website they also provide storages uh, there is a great community support as well as you can see on the uh, you know the feedback and the testimonials with so you can sign up for free the complete thing the complete app that i'll be building is absolutely free i am not paying anything ats checker is the name you just have to put a name and you, the, the app will be created in your back for our backend Sign up, uh, you can sign up with your Gmail account or GitHub account or create a new email. The database that we that is being provided by default is MongoDB and here are all the keys that, which are available like client key, API key and that is the app ID. Here are the databases. Once you will build your platform, you will find all the tables which are created here and all the entries also. Web deployment related information and the best part, they also provide some detailed documentation about everything. Uh, you can connect your MCP servers here and they also provide good documentation to get started. So if you feel stuck anywhere, you can get started with the documentation. But for this tutorial, you won't be needing any documentation because I'll be helping you with each and every step. So we'll quickly connect our MCP VS code MCP. I'll be building everything in, in VS code because GitHub Copilot is something which I use very prominently. Uh, the, the steps will be provided here. Uh, you can either do an add to VS code and it will run all the things automatically or you can do a manual thing also. I did the manual thing. First of all, I installed the npm package. Using that, I installed the back for app installer and then using that, I registered or installed my account key. Now, how you create an account key, just go to your profile and then you can uh, click on your profile and then you'll get your account key. And now I'll start my MCP server for back for app my server is getting started now we can check here also in my back for app account i am giving the agent prompt to build an app in my back for account so back for app account so that this will make sure that our mcp server is connected now so once i'll allow it the agent will create a app in my account and here you will find the account key information. You can create any account key using to by going to your my profile uh, icon. And see VS code is get is created. Now I am pasting a prompt. Uh, you can take this prompt from any of the uh, LLMs for, uh, on the internet. You can ask it to uh, generate a prompt to build an ATS checker, AI ATS checker against a job description and we hit the the, the enter and it will do its magic. See, building a boilerplate code or building a boilerplate uh, product should be done by wipe coding today because everybody is using it. And if you start building things from scratch, you will take tons of time, right? So everything I have already done, I'm just explaining you on the go. Uh, it will do the magic, it will complete all the tasks, it will download or install all the requirements until the time I'll help you explore the particular platform. So on back for app, you create your apps, you get your all the keys, client ID, JavaScript key, master key, .NET key, REST key, file key, and also your app ID, which is mentioned here. And then in the database, uh, once you'll, once we'll, we'll, in the video ahead, we'll be creating our own tables and for each and every a request uh, for our website a new entry will be created then for web de deployment also you can use your github project which is already existing and you can deploy a web app using this vs code is the one which we are using in our vs code right now for building the ats checker project 
project it already has the since we have connected our mcp server of back for app it already has those information but the open ai case since it will require open ai to get the pdf extraction i'm using an open ai api uh, you can use your own open ai key this key will not exist by the time this video will go live so it will fit in that automatically i'm using streamlit to build the ui and now it is running let's see how it looks so this is the ui uh, ai ats resume checker where you will have to upload your resume and i'll just get my resume from my linkedin itself i don't have it handy so i'll just go to my linkedin and get it from there i have my so you should also keep your resume your portfolio on your linkedin it helps okay we'll upload our resume uh, let me find it do, 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 do. And then we'll copy one job description from LinkedIn jobs only. We'll get one job description and paste it so that we will able to check the analysis against the job description. So initially I was getting some error, but, uh, you know, by putting a bit, putting some prompt with uh, GitHub Copilot, I was able to fix those errors. I'll just, you just have to put these errors to, to GitHub Copilot and it will be able to fix those. The main intent I want to show is right now your website is just locally built. It's running on local host. But using back for app, you can add a database where all these uh, request data will be saved. But the important thing is adding the database. So you can just prompt back for app to attach a database to this particular project by, by going to GitHub Copilot and asking it to use a back for app database for storing history and the analysis. So once you will do that, all the things, all the requests that you will make to this website, now the errors are fixed. You will see. Uh, for every new instance that I'll be requesting to back for app, a new table is created, resume analysis, and the last analysis which I did is being entered as a row. So this is how your backend is generated. Isn't it amazing? Just by uh, writing a prompt to the agent, the GitHub Copilot, and the MCB server of back for app was able to create a backend for you. Now, similarly, you can deploy and host your website with just a prompt, deploy and host using back for app. And if you'll do the thing, it will create a public domain, a test public domain for you, and you will have your website public for everyone to use. So this is what back for app is. These are some of the functionalities which I was able to cover in this video. Let it generate and it is activating the web hosting and you'll have the uh, URL generated for your public preview. So here you have the back for app, back for app dot app uh, public uh, preview thing is generated. This is magic. Today, by the time you, till today, you are only, you know, building those UI website without any backend, without anything else, using third party things. Now, everything is at one place, your hosting, your database, your authentication, everything first party. The best part and the convenient part about back for app is all the documentation, all the details are very much documented with tutorials. So if you feel stuck anywhere, you can go through the documentation or watch the videos directly on YouTube. For this video, we are keeping it till here. If you still have doubts, just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to you know, answer those make these kind of projects it helps to you know boost your portfolio boost your resume and help you stand out now this is a very small use case of a bigger project that you can build let me know in the comments what you are going to build and i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care and make sure to use back for app using the link in the description i'll see you in the next video